what up everybody welcome back to the channel i got my pops in town we were supposed to be taking this car do some racing tomorrow turns out we got a deal here in kansas city tomorrow that we're going to try and go to instead decided we're going to go down to mocan down in joplin missouri and do some testing today with his car instead of going to southern missouri tomorrow for races i think we're going to take the mustang i'm headed home i'm going to get loaded up to the trailer or get hooked up to the trailer get the car out get it washed and uh hopefully we'll be leaving here in a few hours i'd like to try and get at least three passes in um i want to verify and back up the last fastest pass we did with the car which was the 556 i'm going to throw that tune up in it to start assuming the track's decent and uh we'll make our first hit with that tune up in it and then hopefully we can turn it up from there and see if we can get it to go a little bit faster. And then I'm hoping that we can actually get my dad's car to run a five today. And if we can get a five out of that thing, I think he'll be super ecstatic. The fastest he's ever drove in that car was like 630s. So when I had it out last, it went in the like six O's, turning it up a little bit. And hopefully the weather's a little bit better today. It's a little less humid. And uh, hopefully we can hit that five second territory for him. And he better hold on, that thing's gonna be quick. Anyways, we'll get back to you whenever we get to the track. All right, we made it out to Mokin, guys. We got the Mustang, got her fired up. And, uh, getting ready to pull it off the trailer. And we got the dart here. We got dad's twin turbo dart here. We're gonna attempt to uh, hopefully get a five second pass out of it today. Uh, right now it's about 82 degrees should get down in like the mid 70s and i think the da is supposed to get down in like 2200 to 2000 foot da so da will be pretty good uh so we should be able to run a pretty good number in both cars hopefully we're gonna come up here and make our first pass to the dart uh, we turned the boost down a little bit from the last time we had it out at us 36 um, i think it was on 20 or 21 pounds up there i took about oh i think seven or eight percent duty cycle out of it so it'll probably hopefully make 17 18 pounds um, i took some rpm out of the two-step too because the track's pretty green right now they've only had a half dozen cars go down it and uh so we'll get him up here and uh hopefully it'll go faster than 630s because that's as fast as he's been in it so if it goes out even turn down a little bit and runs faster than he's been in it that's a win so and then we got a little bit of room to grow throughout the evening so he can feel like it's making progress but He's coming up and uh, we'll make his first lick. Can't wait to see. It was pretty good but he didn't stay on the two-step long enough so we'll pull the log and see what it did uh, I don't believe it built a whole lot of boost so like I said we'll pull the log see what it did see what he thinks how to run got no food. 6.33 111. Uh, 633, 111. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think it's fine song. Oh, it was. It was right on the edge of the tire the whole way down the track. You could hear it. What? You could hear it on the edge of the tire the whole way down. Yeah. The burnout wasn't very good, and it wasn't on the. It wasn't on the two step very long. Yeah, it didn't hardly tire smoke at all. You went though. Yeah. What's sixty One forty seven. What? Sixty foot. Yeah, it's first hose, but there ain't no hose down there. They fixed them. On the end, they yeah. did? Oh, good. Yeah, they fixed it. All right, darts coming back up. We had a little bit more boost to it on the two-step, a little bit more boost overall. Added more RPM and took tire pressure out of it. Changed a bunch of shit. Probably going to spin a tire if he stays on the brake long enough. So we'll get him up here. I really want to see it go 590s, but he's going to have to drive the shit out of it. Go. 
sir. Guys, so we suited up. We're gonna go up and make our first pass in the Mustang. Um, I don't know what to expect of this pass. It's probably not gonna be super fast. I took a bunch out of it. The track's just not there. Um, so took some took a bunch out of it on the two-step overall and everything. So we'll get up there, do a test pass, see what happens, and we'll come back, turn it up and track it. Down. Mustang didn't do where the shit knocked the tire off of it. The tune-up was pretty soft, had a slow boost ramp in it, and uh, didn't do me any favors. Um, not sure I'm gonna run it again. Run the dart real quick for my dad. Um, he went a 623 on like 19, 20 pounds. It just wasn't really there, so I'm gonna hop in the car, take it up, and see if I can get it to run a number. So I'll get back to you shortly. We'll get up there in the, in the lanes. I made my first pass in the dart or in a 619, but I was in and out of the gas all over it um, and only ran 105. I threw more boost at it, it should go faster. So I'm gonna run it back, run a different lane and see what happens. Last night's outing of the track did not go very well. Dang, I got sunburned today. Um, last night's track outing did not go so well. We made one pass in the Mustang. It was a terrible pass. We tried to make four passes in. The dart, everyone was terrible. The car was spinning down the whole track. Uh, we played with tire pressure and all that stuff. I was really trying to hit that five with the car. Couldn't do it. We're up here in US 36 today. Gonna to attempt to do some bracket racing. Hopefully, uh, I don't think we're gonna do any winning today. But the goal today is just to run a 590 on this track, on this surface with the power we've got in the car right now. Um, but we're gonna let dad drive it this time. He made two passes in it last night and I made two passes in it last night. I think the fastest we got it to go was like a 619, but uh, it was like, or I think that was at like 89 mile an hour. The track was terrible. Um, it was a test and two night, so they didn't have any prep on the track. All the street cars were tearing up what was there and uh it was just a bad day i knew better than to take the mustang down there for sure but i was hopeful that the big tire car would go down and it wouldn't so we came up north like i said to this track they're having a bracket race tonight so the track will be prepped and uh we should be pretty good to go down and hopefully run a good good et with the thing so anyways i'm gonna pull the tune up in it check some stuff and then uh, we should be going up for first time trial hopefully in the next 30 or 40 minutes We got the old truck here, we got the dark coming. What'd you all set the tire pressure to?
He said, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? Oh, did it on the end? Which is yeah. funny because last night, well, and it's gone 137. Yeah. So I mean, even if, even if you pick up, even if it goes a 30, like a 37, high 580s. Yeah. That's a good burnout, too. Oh my God. No, when I drove it last night, I was like, this is a 580. I'm not stressed. I got, I already had got a run in last night. Went 387 into 330. That's a lick. Yeah. Oh, it felt good. I've seen it. And it come up. I said, "Oh, did you get out of it when it did it?" Yeah, I had to. I was ready to come up at the middle. Oh, yeah, it split it. It just bolted up. It just picked that son bitch all up. Yeah. Just off said, these things. Don, it'll get more cool. See, it's above the top of them now. Yeah. It just sucked it right up off there. I said, "Oh, because you made a good lick." Yeah. <laughs> I'm already rolling. Look, you're rolling, bud. Yeah. All right. So the old truck. The last pass, first round time trial, ran a 597, 118. Murder and that thing's way too tight, so it just won't get out of its own way. 16 pounds of boost, so that thing, it's got a lot more room to go. Definitely more power to be thrown at it, but I'm just gonna leave it how it is and let him run it, since it is a bracket race tonight. Well, the Dart ran its fastest pass it's ever ran with a 594 at 114 this last pass. We didn't change anything on it either. Uh, just gonna run it back. It wasn't on the two-step very long, so it only made like five pounds. If it stays on a little longer, it should get it to make about seven, seven and a half, and it should 60 foot a little better. Hopefully that'll get us in like the low 590, high 580 range, but we'll see.
I do. They got red lit. But we got my brother back in the car. We took a little bit of power out of it. And uh, add a little bit of tire pressure to uh, hopefully curb this issue we're having when the car wants to drive in and out of the roof. That was the end of our night. Um, like I said, we went, uh, we did two time trials with my brother. Dad went one round. Uh, he went out in the first round. We bought back in. Don't mind the sirens. And uh, so then my brother ran the next round, which had been the first round of the losers bracket type deal. Uh, bracket racing sucks. It's not my thing. Um, and it's probably because I suck at it. But uh, so then my brother's first round. He got lucky that green S10 went red. That guy was probably gonna win it. He went red by .001. That was it. I mean, the guy was on the money. He knew his shit. Um, so we went on for another round and then my brother ran the last round against that other truck. And there was a big difference. I think that truck was dialed to 7.0 and we were, were dialed to 595. So there's a big difference in when the lights dropped on the 7.0 index for, or the 7.0 bracket on the 70 dial versus the 595 dial and you can't see their lights so my brother didn't know when his light was going to drop and he didn't want to sit on the two-step and the trans brake too long um but by the time he did get on the two-step it was too late um because at that point the light was already starting to drop and there was no way he was going to get it up on the brake he uh afterwards he was like you know i probably should have just got on the brake and just run the number and just seen if we could have got like a 580 out of the car but uh you know hindsight's 2020 when you're in the moment and uh you're just kind of ready to let go of that button but awesome time my dad got to run his first five second pass it's kind of a it's kind of surreal um you know helping your dad build something and making it something faster than he's ever had uh that was really cool for me the car is going to go faster he's kind of at a point where he says he just wanted to go 590s that was it if he can go out and bracket race and run 590s all day long that's all he cares that's not me i'm a heads up racer i want to go as fast as i can with what i got and i'm sure i'm going to convince him of doing that i think that car with the setup that's in it i think it's got like a 570 in it we just need to be able to get it to make like 10 12 pounds of boost on the two-step instead of like five or six I think we could get that much more boost out of it. I think the fastest we 60 footed was like a 37 with that thing. And that's a big tire car. That thing ought to go bottom 120s easy. With that being said, you know, the car goes a 590, I think a 594 was the fastest we went that day. And it was a shitty 60 foot, like a 141. So like I said, I think if we get that down, we'll just even say a 121. If we can pick up two tenths down low in the 60 foot, it'll pick up a tenth and a half every tenth out back so you're looking basically about three tenths out the back it'll go um that it'll pick up from two tenths down low so i mean that alone is going to make it a 570 you know if not a high 560 car so i think if we could get it to do that he would be beside himself that's a street car that thing's got full interior it's got subwoofers got an amplifier it's got stereo i mean that's a full-on street car he drives that thing so pretty, pretty awesome. You know, that thing's just about as fast as the Mustang and that's a full on street car where the Mustang is a full on race car. So, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Um, you know, like I said, building something for my dad and helping him build something fast is, is really cool. You know, if you got the opportunity to do it, you know, spend some time with your family and do some stuff like that. Cause you know, those are things you'll never get back.
and that's one of those memories I will never forget. I will take that to my grave with me. So just enjoy life, guys. Have fun, you know, live MRE style. We'll see you guys later.